It's baffling how common it is for people to livestream their most embarrassing moments on purpose. They're filming their own lowlights, their own worst ofs for the montage of shame. Things most people would want buried forever, they are proudly with a smile on their face broadcasting to their audience for content. Today an extremely trashy stream clip has gone viral with a streamer named Elisa Jordana firing up a live stream after learning that her boyfriend has been cheating on her. I'm gonna go through most of what happens in the stream, but the clip everyone's seen, which we'll get to towards the end, is at the very end of the stream, it's about 2 hours and 20 minutes, she gets her boyfriend in the car, and then she starts attacking him while she's driving, so she starts physically hitting him. And then she hits him very hard in the nose, like a full-blown strike to the nose, like a fucking monk's palm strike to his nose. It was quite a wallop. Like, if she was playing that boxing bag game that you see at bars where it measures your punch and it, like, grades your force up to 999, she probably would have scored, like, a 700 with that strike. So it definitely could have caused some damage. She threatens to kill him, and then she continues to escalate it. She grabs on his ear and starts pulling on it, and then he starts fighting back. So he starts fighting her. He starts yanking on her hair, telling her to stop the car. And she does stop the car. He continues yanking and pulling on her. She gets out of the car. He gets out of the car, chases her down. And then he gets back in the car and turns the stream off. Without a doubt, one of the worst live streams I can think of in recent memory. It's hard to watch. It's awful. It's it's crimes. Like, you're, you're, you're watching crimes unfold. He lied so much to me. He lied so much to me. And he lied and he's told her, like, he told her I'm just like a streamer and it was just an investment. And, like, the whole time he was talking to me, he was talking to her. The whole time. Gad Zooks, what in the fuck would possibly possess you to want to start a live stream after learning something so heavy? That makes no sense. How poisoned must your brain be to possibly come up with an idea like this? Learning that your boyfriend has been cheating on you, and then immediately turning it into a stream for content? That's incomprehensible. I don't understand why people want to broadcast every single waking moment of their lives to a bunch of strangers online, a ton of goobers who are just going to sit back tossing popcorn down their gullet because it's just entertainment to them, even though it's your life that's being ruined in real time. Why do that? Fucking Jack Bauer couldn't torture me enough to force me to go live after learning something like this. He could put all the jumper cables he wants on my nipples and scrotum. I still wouldn't do it because it's it's a horrible thing to want to put out there. I couldn't even imagine just firing up the stream. Hey guys, this one's going to be a little bit different than usual. Turns out she's getting piped by another man right now. They're steaming ham as we speak. Oh, thanks for the $6... Charlie's girl is slobbering on my neat. Ha ha ha. And sending her money on Venmo. Yeah, but why are you surprised? I'm not surprised, Brandon. I'm not surprised. Actually, I'll go yeah. to Tanger's outlets right here. I just don't get why you would cry over him, dude. Like, oh, you already shit. got money. You already supposedly got money from him. I did, but he still was very bad, Brandon. Yeah, so what do you think would happen if you're going to marry him this and that? I'm and not marrying him, Brandon. I'm obviously not yeah, marrying him. Yeah, but I'm saying if you... She then goes for this joy ride, or lack thereof joy, and it's the most distracted driving I've ever seen. No exaggeration. She doesn't even pretend to be paying attention to the road. She is glued to her phone or reading the chat, I believe, because she does get donations. She has text-to-speech enabled, so she is getting donations throughout this stream. And she is always looking at something other than the road. That is extremely dangerous, not only to herself, but all of the people on the road around her. And you can see that she busts out that crazy U-turn and gets honked at because that came out of fucking nowhere like a jump scare to all the other drivers. It, like, this is just, it's unhinged. This is, again, unacceptable. It's illegal. You can't be driving like this. I understand she's upset after finding out her partner's been unfaithful. Anyone in the world would feel the same way. But not many people in the world would handle it the way she is by starting up a fucking live stream for people to be tuned in on with everything. Not only is she very dangerously behaving here on the road, but then she then starts just dropping all kinds of personal information publicly. Just publicly revealing a lot of things that 100% should stay private. Why is Adenel? I'm going to 
gonna go to Tanger's Outlet actually with his card right now. All right, let's do that. Tanger's Outlet. Let's let's go on a shopping spree. Hope you find your way home. Forty-eight JSK. Not that much money left. Should I spend this money? Sparrows for everyone. Another lore dump for you for why she drove to the mall here. It's because she had his wallet and stated she wanted to go on a bit of a shopping spree with his cards. And then on stream, she actually opens his wallet and shows his driver's license and says, should I, th should I drop his cards in the Discord? So threatening to also just show his cards to her community. She then takes money out of his wallet and says, should I buy food for everyone? Those are all crimes. Again, you're, you're compiling evidence against yourself. You're doing the police's job for them. You are actually showcasing criminal activity. Now, unless I miss something, she doesn't actually spend any of his money. She doesn't actually use any of his cards there. She just makes the threats that she could and would do so. She does, however, actually open his wallet, and you can see his driver's license clearly because she's bouncing it around like something out of the Disney Channel. So you can see that, but I don't think you can make out any of his other cards. But regardless... This whole thing should have never been put online. I don't know why she made the decision to start streaming this. Again, she does have text-to-speech donations enabled, so it's possible that this is all just to get some, like, money from people that are sympathizing with her because she's, she's going through something horrible. Getting cheated on sucks. But the way she's handling it is fucking awful. She's distracted driving, dangerously putting other people's lives at risk on the road, threatening to commit some criminal actions live, and then it ends with her assaulting him, physically assaulting him live. Like, this is a horrible fucking stream. Dreams, and he thought, oh, Discord's stupid, a lot of people say that, right? So, um, all of Scora's private information is, as well, uh, Sarah's phone number, Sarah's address, her full name, her Venmo account, transactions, are all the- James donated five dollars. Scora, is your Mexican show. girl hot? It sounds as though Elisa has fully doxxed the guy and the girl here posting all of their private information in her Discord, which is illegal. You can't do that. I also think it's worth mentioning, since you caught a glimpse of it there, any time that girl, Sarah, is brought up during this stream, both Elisa and the community of pay piggies that's donating to her always make sure to mention that she's Mexican. And they make statements in the chat about that as well. Throughout the stream, reading the chat, there were so many moments of genuine racism, it was fucking sickening. Oh. I called Sarah, you fucking bitch. I'm gonna fucking kill you. No, no, no. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Sorry, sorry, February sorry. Was... You had hit him in my presence. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna you. talk about the bad uh, well, topic. Well, I, think I should talk about it. No, I, I said I... I'm gonna stop talking about it. Okay, good. No, it's not okay. Are you, you've ever been cheated on for two years with you know a what? 20-year-old Mexican? I'm not, I'm I doubt not it. getting into yeah. my business. Okay, I'm, I'm just telling you that's my business. I, I really don't want to talk to you. This happened shortly before the viral clip from this stream where she starts hitting him in the car. So prior to them getting in the vehicle, she pushed him outside and it was actually observed by someone who confronted her about it because in this instance, her violent outburst was in broad daylight in view of public and bystanders. So... Someone came up to her, I believe it was an officer, and talked to her about it. And even during this talk, Elisa still finds a way to mention that the other girl is Mexican. Hello? Hi. Hi, Sarah. How are you? How are you, Hi. Sarah? Hi. Can you... Thanks so much for calling. I'm just going to send you like six months of texts of uh, your nudes and, you know, different sentences that he... Sarah, I'm sorry uh, about this. Don't talk. Don't fucking talk. Uh, yes, yeah, Sarah, we're really sorry about this. I'm sending him your way today. You fucking... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, so, so, so Bar Baram, Baram, how do you pronounce it? Do you know? I don't know. Shut the fuck up, Carl. Uh, yeah, what's up? She's half your age. She's half your age. Delete the numbers, please. I cut out the ending here because it, it, it's a lot. Like, even this much, I don't even know if YouTube will allow me to show. I'm really not sure. It's legitimate assault. So she hits him a couple of times, the nose hit by far being the biggest blow. And then after where I cut it off, he grabs her hair and starts yanking and pulling on her. And she starts talking about how he's killing her and the car stops. And then eventually she gets out of the car. He chases her down. I think she gets in another vehicle in the background. And then he comes back into the car and turns the stream off. 
It's fucking, it's a horrifying thing to watch, to be honest. As of right now, Elisa has been arrested. Her mugshot and booking information is all out there for this incident. There's no update on the guy or what's going on with that part of all of this, but what a fucking awful live stream. Now on Twitter, there's been a lot of debate about this video on whether or not the man's actions were justified in this situation, and most people are saying that they were claiming that he was acting in self-defense. And it seems like the law would agree with them on that take because from everything I can find, he hasn't been booked or charged with anything. Now, I think it's important we remember that the guy in this video is no saint. He cheated on his significant other. That is the behavior of a piece of shit. But under no circumstances does anyone deserve to be beaten like this. He's not a good guy, but he is still the victim of an assault. And I think all of the video evidence suggests that this was a case of self-defense. He didn't lash out at her or strike at her until she went in again for like the third or fourth time assaulting him. And then he did fight back. Now, I do think there is a case to be made that he may have taken it too far because he does yank and pull on her for quite some time, even once the car comes to a complete stop. So I think he probably could have gotten out of the car at that point and just left it entirely, left the situation entirely, but I also don't know the entire situation on where it was stopped, if it may have been dangerous to do so, I don't know. But overall, I do agree that this does seem to be him defending himself like from getting attacked in this vehicle. Overall, this was a fucking awful live stream. And I really don't think this is going to be the last of its kind that we see because it feels like it's getting more and more common with people wanting to live stream every moment of their lives, even the worst parts of it. So there'll probably be more things like this in the future, which sucks. That's I, I think it's just an awful direction, but just wanted to talk about this. That's about it. See ya.